The second ordinary session of the 6th Pan-African Parliament commenced on Monday the 15th in Midrand, South Africa, under the theme Accelerating the Implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area. Uh, this is an organ of the African Union, and the Pan-African Parliament was established in 2004 with the aim to ensure the full participation of African peoples in the economic development and integration of the continent. Uh, the Namibian Parliament has five representatives at the continental yeah. platform, and this delegation is led by Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly, that's Ms. Lloydek Singo, who now joins us on the line from Midrand, South Africa. A very good morning to you, Meloide. Thank you for joining us this morning. Yeah, good morning, and good morning, Namibia. Firstly, can you give us an overview of the Pan-African Parliament and activities there in Midrand, South Africa, since uh, that is the second ordinary session of this sixth Pan-African Parliament commenced on Monday? Yes, uh, thank you very much. Uh, we have already summarized uh, uh, its theme. Um, and the, the theme is one of the activities of which we are going to discuss in a, in, in a workshop. But as from uh, the 16th to the 17th, we have a, a summit on climate change, uh, which was arranged uh, and hosted by Pan African Parliament in collaboration with, uh, with Pan African Climate Change Alliance. Uh, of course, the uh, summit uh, was blessed uh, to be opened uh, by His Excellency Azali, uh, also Mani, uh, the President of the Union of Comoros, who emphasized the need really to push for the implementation of, of a free African trade area so that uh, we can strengthen the economy of Africa. And when we strengthen the economy of Africa, Africa will be able to produce in terms of need. Uh, on the 17th and uh, the 16th and the 17th, we were also blessed uh, during the workshop on uh, climate change uh, to be addressed by His Excellency. Uh, William Ruto, the president of Kenya, yeah. is the current chair of committee of African head of state yeah. and government on climate change. Uh, due to the fact that uh, Kenya is one of uh, the member states which is, uh, has really is doing a lot in terms of um, climate change, and in fact, coming up with uh, the, the specific law dealing with climate change planting of, uh, of trees, and also the inclusive of all to understand climate change, including the judiciary. Um, and Meloida, just, uh, uh, just, just, just while on that, on that particular point, of course, you also lead the Namibian delegation um, to this parliament. Whenever we negotiate, like the negotiation of um, um, uh, climate change, whether from um, uh, seven which took place in Somerset in Egypt, and then the other one, COVID-8, which is going to take place in uh, Dubai in November, Africa must uh, stop with one voice, and Africa must be represented by the Troika of Asia. Of course, Ms. Kasingo, you also uh, had the Namibian delegation uh, to this session. Just talk to us about what Namibia has brought um, to this parliament um, since it commenced here yeah, and, and, you know, what we're really contributing um, towards the continental debate here. Okay. Uh, just, just talk to us about Namibia's participation at this session so far. What is Namibia really putting forth in terms of its participation um, in these continental debates? Well, uh, N N Namibia is, 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 is um, just one of uh, the MP of um, the national um, uh, parliament of the continent. Uh, we have uh, distributed ourselves in different committees. Uh, for example, the 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 the, the, the concerning the. Um, uh, the African uh, continental free trade, uh, the person who is um, uh, in this committee is Honorable um, Benani. Mm -hmm. 
uh, in, uh, in uh, cooperation we deal with the security issues of Africa. The other will be uh, in the Committee of Agriculture and Transport. Uh, concerning that specific uh, um, um, uh, summit on climate change, we were also blessed to have the, 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 the spokesperson of his president, uh, Hagen Heikot, uh, Dr. Hindari, who also put his paper to emphasize that uh, uh, while we call for the need to address the impact of uh, climate change, we must also not to forget the development of Africa. And he touched here and there the, 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 the green uh, economy. Very much. Of course, uh, Meme Kasingo, when you look at, you know, uh, the activities of next week and the very important date of next week, the 25th of May, uh, marking that is Africa Day, and of course, uh, this year marks 60 years uh, since the establishment of the Organization of African Unity, uh, which really birthed, you know, the organizations like the African Union, as well as, of course, the legislative bodies of the African Union, like the, pa like the Pan-African uh, Parliament, for instance. Uh, talk to us about, you know, some of the challenges um, facing the Pan-African Parliament. I know there's been, of course, um, a m much debate around the Parliament as well in terms of its powers and uh, to what extent uh, its powers uh, can go. But talk to us about, you know, this legislative body of the African Union, perhaps some of the, the successes and challenges of this parliament as well. Yeah, yeah the African Parliament is really a deliberative organ of uh, uh, the African Union. The forefathers who come up with this idea is to ensure that the grassroots is represented by the parliament. Yeah. MPs of uh, the whole of the continent. Uh, since its inception 2004, as we have stated, they, we, PAP, used to deliberate on the very important challenges uh, facing uh, African continent. Uh, we make recommendations, and the, this recommendation is supposed to be, uh, we forward to the, uh, our mother body, the African Union, but um, however, the challenge we face as the legislative body, invited comma, is that up to now, Pan-African Parliament is not yet a fully select uh, legislative body of the continent. Uh, you might recall that uh, uh, 2014 in Malabo, the head of state uh, signed a protocol which will hope to give uh, Pan-African Parliament a really uh, the power to make modern laws and to strengthen itself, uh, but however, to put into force this protocol, it should be signed by half of the member states of uh, the African continent. Up to now, uh, it is only 15 member states who signed this protocol. None of um, the SADAC head of head, head uh, uh, SADAC member states did sign this protocol. That is a, a challenge. Another challenge is really financing the Pan-African Parliament. Yeah. Uh, financing is very, very important because we to financing. For example, for us who are in the Committee of International Relations, we supposed to go to problematic area for mission to come and debate and propose, but without the money, we won't be able uh, to do that. But, however, His Excellency, um, uh, 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 the President of Kenya and the Union, uh, the President of the Union of Comoros, uh, promised us that they are going to push to ensure that we have adequate financial uh, support. Yeah. Fantastic. Mr. Sikwa, just coming back to this particular session and, of course, um, the theme which really speaks to accelerating um, the African continental free trade area um, as, of course, the African continental looks at um, economic freedom, you know, after the, the long and bitter struggle um, for, of course, independence. Just talk to us about how, from a legislative perspective, you know, um, the countries can contribute through this parliament uh, to accelerate the African continental free trade area agreement here. Yeah. What the um, uh, parliamentarians of the African continent do is really to ensure the implementation of, uh, 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 of this um, um, uh, uh, agreement 
to ensure that the executive component of uh, our respective government really start to implement the sooner the better. Uh, uh, because as uh, His Excellency, uh, the President of Kenya, uh, was uh, addressing us to see the, the, the time of uh, talking, talking, attending workshop is over. That is the time now to start implementing and also for um, Africa to stand its feet. This slogan of saying, for example, Africa is rich, but its people are poor, must come to an end. He was addressing us. He was advising us to see we are, Africa is a, is a rich continent. And with our resources, whenever we go for this negotiation, we must come up on equal foot to see we have the resources, you have the technology. Let's sit and see how we can uh, benefit one-on-one -on, -one on equal basis. Very much. Yeah, the, 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 the parliamentary must really... Uh, 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 ensure that uh, the agreement uh, of which the executive government have agreed upon must be implemented as soon as possible. And this thing should not just end up with the parliamentarians or the executive component in each member state. It should also flip us down into the grassroots who will be the beneficiary of this. Very much indeed. That's, uh... It's very long. Very much it indeed. Make after it has been agreed upon, it's up to the member of the state to see to it that, uh, okay, we have this agreement in which way we can domesticate it in terms of the policy, in terms of the, of the law. Yeah. Mr. Kosigo, I, I believe that, of course, uh, the, the, the session has come to an end at this point in time. Just talk to us about uh, the way forward uh, from here. Uh, just what, do, what does the parliament look to, of course, do from this point forward, and how do you look to adopt perhaps some of these resolutions um, taken during this particular session? Yeah. Uh, come again. Um, repeat your last um, Yeah, Just talk to us about the way forward. For okay, the way forward, really, is um, for all of us, us to take um, some the resolution we can seriously and uh, to... We are now happy that uh, we have uh, um, president at the AU, like uh, His Excellency, uh, the president of Kenya and uh, of uh, Union of Comoros, who understand that. And uh, uh, the way forward is really whenever we come up an African parliament with a recommendation. Recommendation includes. Uh, some of the model law we propose here to ensure that uh, our headquarters implemented it. And also to look uh, some of the resolutions and the recommendations we supposed to be implemented immediately by the um, national parliament. Yeah. Lastly, and also for the grassroots to know about okay. these things, rather than just to end up with us in the legislature. Very much. Just lastly, Ms. Kasingo, as of course the African continent looks to 60 years uh, since our founding fathers came together and established the Organization of African Unity, uh, looking at the journey 60 years down the, the path, uh, what is your concluding remarks, what is your message uh, to, of course, the African people um, this morning as we observe Africa Day next Thursday? Uh, I should think, I have just to say, we as Africans, we must believe in ourselves. We must be united. We must uh, 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 speak in one voice. Uh, for example, we have our uh, African Union. And whenever, for example, we are called by people uh, outside of the continent, we should not go individual countries. We must be represented by the Troika of uh, AU. We are not rich people. We are not poor. We are rich. And we must be able and we must start as soon as possible 
to start negotiating on a strong point because God has given us the resources and they, they have the technology. And unity is very, very important. Once we are united, there's no room for the other people outside to penetrate and maneuver and squeeze an individual member state. Very much indeed. Mayor Lloyd Kasingo, thank you for joining us this morning and thank you for making the time out to speak to us and, of course, reflect on this particular session. Thank you. Uh, pleasure is mine. Thank you. There you have it. Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly, as well as the head of the Namibian delegation to the second ordinary session of the sixth Pan African Parliament. That's Madam Lloyd Kasingo joining us there from Midrand, South Africa. Just reflecting on this particular session, of course, the Pan African Parliament is a legislative body of the African Union, and it had its session under the theme accelerating the implementation of the African continental free trade area. And of course, just reflecting there on Namibia's participation as well.